Riffers, and welcome back to the Lickin' Room. In this lesson, you're going to learn one of the coolest songs ever written. The way it is, Bruce Hornsby. All right, so um, the link for the tabs is below in the description. All the tabs on Lickin' Riff are for free. Always have been, always will be. Okay, you can download the tabs. Ah, okay, so are you ready for this? Five hammer on to seven on the E string. And then you have A minor. Okay, it's A minor, it's a bar on five, 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 five with the fifth string, okay? And it's eight on the first string, that's the melody note. Okay, so, so, okay, so. Um, you can start by barring it, okay, and just hammering it on, and then, okay, that's a lot easier than what I did, okay? hammering it on and then putting on the bar. Okay, so put on the bar from the start. And then you have E minor. Okay, it's uh, just seven, eight, nine. The Y is six afraid of seven chord. Seven, eight, nine, and the sixth string. Okay, so. Now it's the chord first and then the bass. It's a syncopation there. And if you're slapping, the slap is before the E minor. And the slap also helps you mute the A string, which is nice. Then you have five pull off to three. And then you have, hey, okay, this is D5. It's five, three, two, and the D string. And then it's seven on the first string. I slide and then it's C with three zero on the first string. Okay, so it's basically all little finger here. Okay, the little finger plays all the melody notes. And then G. Then you have seven on the first string, D, the string, with eight pull off to seven on the first string. And then 10, eight on the second string. And then eight again with the C bass, eight on the sixth ring. And if you want a chord, you can add the nine on the third string. So it's, um, you don't have to put the whole bar on. So that's the intro riff, okay? It's fantastic. I'll play it slow. Play it twice and then you have the verse. The verse is relatively easy. It's A minor 7, A minor with the open third string, and you play. Okay? 1 1 1 the second string, I just play the whole chord. And then E minor. Okay, again, second string, open. Just the chord. And then you have the D string with. Okay, it's 2 2 4 2 on the third. You can hammer it on. And then you have two pull off to zero. Okay, it's, it's the same note. Okay, so same note. Uh, two on the third string, but with the C bass. Okay, three on the fifth string. So. And then two on the fourth, open third. It's a C chord. Okay, you just complete a C chord. And then G, second string. D with one pull off to zero on the second string. Two pull off to zero on the third. Okay, or just picking it and then it's the open third string again with C. And then you repeat it again, okay, the whole verse. So once again, A minor seven, E minor, just E minor. And then D, C, G. D, C. Okay, now the second time you play it, you end on G. Okay, you play D and then G. Okay, G. Okay. Now comes the best part. It's the chorus. So there is a second riff. Okay, it's this. 
It, this is G add nine. So it's three and three on strings one and six and two on the third string and you just arpeggiate it. Okay, you play strings three, two, one, okay, on, on two, zero, three with the bass on the first note. And then you hammer on the two on the third string. Okay, you hammer on back to the same note. And then it's the open E string with F, okay? So I just use my thumb, okay? That's the quickest movement, okay? Like this, just let go of the whole chord. Just let go of everything and put my thumb. So it's, it's a really smooth movement, okay? And then hammer on to two on the fourth and the open third string. This is now a C chord. Okay, play the C bass. Now, this is the riff, so practice it. Now, the first line is, that's just the way it is, so it's... Okay, it's all on the third string, it's zero, 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 slide to four, 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 slide to two, zero. So, zero, four, two, zero. And then you play the riff again. Um, and then you have, things will never be the same. Things will always be the same, things will always be the same. Okay. Um, so it's zero, zero, one, three on the second string, open E string, three on the B string. This is on a C chord, remember. Okay, so. Then the first line. And then again. And then. Okay? It's second string twice, two plus to zero on the third, second string. And then the first ref. Okay, you go back. And that's basically your lesson. Okay, it's short, it's sweet, but it's highly deceptive. Okay, this is, uh, this is not an easy arrangement, at least not for me. Okay, it might be for you, but um, it's tricky. It's tricky because of the, the, the rhythm here, because of the funky rhythm. Um, it's all very, very basic chords, but the rhythm makes it, makes it quite challenging. So it's a lot of fun to practice and a lot of fun to play. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the shorts, the daily shorts that I've been uploading for a couple of months now. Uh, if you haven't yet, then you don't know what you're missing. It's a daily guitar tip and a daily spark of guitar inspiration, especially for you. So um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Now the tab, remember the link is below in the description for free and um, see you soon. Have fun.